Azo with the Peach man locked in. Game one, play, both players agree. Hit the start button and let's get it on. All right, so Zeus and Samus, not a case when you see two too often. Uh, Unless it's like Arma or like Rival or we, we occasionally have a couple, Jumpsteady, you know? We have a couple of them, but still for how good of a character they are, it's not one of the super common ones compared to, you know, the Wolves, the Lucinos. Right, like Lucinos is kind of one of those characters that you don't really see too much in the meta, but I feel like the way that she plays, she's still for a very strong kind of draw. Probably a really great height here, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I agree, but right now, Jay Smash throwing out pretty solidly against Raza, spacing him out with these photos on the side, he's taking up recently. Raza, though, looking to answer it up with that down air, pops him up and doesn't get a follow up. Nice. Ryan stalls himself with that flow, gets the forward air, puts Jay Smash off the stage. Great spot dodge, because he knows something was coming up immediately right afterwards. Oh um, man, he missed that up I, I respect though, like you wanted to catch Razo off guard, right? Get the stock here, especially the second stage. Peach is floating, so she might lose a little early. Oh, and he calls out the side B again with the up but just a little bit too late, so it's not going to connect. Yeah, dash tag missing the opportunity here. J Smash tries to go for another up but unfortunately, man. He, look, if Razo, Razo's PR for a reason. He's not going to fall to like trick number three at the third time, right? Yeah. He's going to go ahead and punish you with his turn up. Get you off the stage, get this big lead, and then put you right back off, and yeah, then and follow up. Like I said, he will see it through to the end of your stock right there. One opening for Razo is all it takes. That side he's going to claim a stock at only 81% after the hit. He said, he kind of said it better myself, man. He definitely is looking to see this man through to the end. We're going to see this possible three stock to the end, because so far Razo has the space. He's looking for the whip punish. He's looking for the space to approach. This man got grounded. Here's the mash, but unfortunately, he didn't no, that, was, that one's just there's no way he's getting out of that with enough time to escape. Uh, J Smash able to seal that one out. Can I, can I tell you something really like something different? I apologize for everybody back home who wants to hear the game, but like I just once saw a player actually slam their controller on the table to mash. That was that Wait, was this man's dedication to like Wait, make sure what? he got out of there. Yeah, I saw someone just grab his controller and like just just rub it on the <laughs> the, 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 the table to mash. That's dedication. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Like, I would be doing the same right here, but unfortunately, Rosal's at that early percent, so he doesn't have to worry about it. Jeez. I mean, like, mash out of combos, but, like, don't break your controller, man. Those things are expensive. He's slamming he slam the whole thing, man. I love that one of those GameStop controllers you could buy for, like, 20 bucks. Uh, Maybe that's why I did it. Okay. I mean, I can, but, like, if you looked on eBay for a real controller, like, yikes, man. Yeah. That is very true. I mean, hopefully J Smash could look at eBay for a uh, possible victory because Raza was the first one to. Uh, yeah, he's to definitely get it. getting outbid right here by Raza. Yeah, man, we see Kels, big stage, platforms on the side. Might be uh, if J Smash is going to stick to ZSS. Honestly, he's got that space to move around in and out of uh, Beach, but also Raza has understanding of how that match would work. So far, he's got it pretty unlocked, so we'll see how things go, man. One of the things I like about Kalos. Probably for Peach to watch is honestly uh, different edge guarding, right? Because you do have the platforms on the side, so that's one thing you kind of have to be careful for. But Razo lands with a neutral air, and I'm saying it once more, man. He wants to see things through to the end because he starts off really strong. I just wait right there, recognizing the side that he's going to come out. He doesn't get hit with it, goes for a punch, but doesn't really find a whole lot. I think that he has a great smash. Find one, but doesn't find anything afterwards. Okay. Great follow up, and he knows he got crossed up, so he goes for a back air. Solid call out! He knows DSS, one of the favorite things to do right when they're off stage, go for that flip kick, and Raza was looking to really punish her right afterwards. Carry, but doesn't carry the second hit. Raza retreats back to the platform, looking for space in here, looking for it up. Solid opportunity for a whiff punish. He finds the full air. At this point, he wanted to punish that opportunity one more time. Yeah, I mean, that side is one of those things that's really deceptive when you get the first pair, you have to shield it again just because it can make it hit. And a lot of times, you know, in the heat of the moment, you're not really thinking about that. Yeah, heat of the moment, man, you wouldn't be thinking about Raza's coming in with dash type ever. Yeah, Raza was thinking about the side B. Once again, just calling it out, dashing back, and then dashing in to punish it with the dash tag. I, look, I don't know, I don't want to tell you about hitboxes, but this is a little opportunity when you're, when you actually have an opponent and a character that can actually just flow over all your hitboxes, that's where things begin to be a little bit scary. That's what I just saw happen right there. It's a grab, can you follow up? But it's even in ways to oh. see where Raza was going to land, and he tries to punish it, but Raza is going to hold the best of the eyes to ensure his survival. Yeah, but those were really great weight there from Smash. I kind of didn't like the down throw at first, and, you know, just throw them off stage. Right, you would think, like, 
But like he recognizes Razu to land on the platform. He's under it, Ray is mm -hmm. Razu not space enough to avoid from that side of it, but he goes extra low to avoid any other shenanigans from Zeus, especially the flip that we saw Jay Smack put out. He gets a cross up here from the side B. Nice. Reads that cross up from Jay Smash, tosses a few turns, got ditch raise, damage only with the shield. Small pressure applied, but not enough to get a grab or even crack the shield. Oh, that's a, oh, I was gonna say, man. That's a punish, but luckily Razo only sees the win point here. Yeah, you know, the up smash is one of the things where it has a really deceptively large hitbox to the size of it. Razo not might not be familiar enough with the character to be confident to get up close and personal right outside the hitbox and punish. Mm -hmm. Instead, you're looking to, you know, punish the option afterwards. Alright, turn it into the fair. That's gonna be 35% on the base map right now. There it is. Forward smash. Nice, gets that high recovery here. Looking to once again punish the nice opportunity for a flip kick. He tries to go for the up B yet again, but I'm telling you, at this point, Russell's already cut on to how he's been going for those. But Russell's playing with his food right now, going for that uh, the turnip into the parasol combo right there. Not connecting, but like, that's just one he's, of those things. Oh. He says, I'm just going to throw it out because I can now. Yeah. Of course, speaking of not connecting, that side of you not coming for ZSS. Oh, unfortunately, okay. the only thing that connects for J Smash is a loss and that fist bump and the cue to unfold the controller and get the Yeah, it looks like, you know, at least J Smash is doing the right thing here, saying, you know, what can I do?